Oh, finally, I was worried sick. Wait, don't tell me. He was fighting the entire base, wasn't he? You are right. Okay, Cal. We got no boat. We got no compass. Now tell me the truth. I can take it. We lost Avalon. One compass remains. If you are hearing this, you know where I've left it. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just the last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. There's a control center here. If we align the arrays, we can create a flight path through the abyss. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You want me to fly the Manus through a ship-eating nebula using a tiny tunnel carved out by 200-year-old tech? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Alright guys, welcome back to some more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I know we came in on a cutscene, that's something we never normally do, but I appreciate all of you guys' support. So let's uh, figure out where we need to go. I believe that was a uh, signal for us to go back to where... Okay, let's pick our next destination. We're just gonna head back to Koba, I guess. Why not? How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss, and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sounds like a good plan. I guess we have to take Lombode over there because he was too bit much of a coward and decided to run when we had him cornered in the base. He could have easily just had his daughter step down outside, and we could have handled it. But uh, that's not how that went down. He decided to run through the whole entire base. And, uh, hide. Now, unfortunately, I can't change my outfit right now, because I'd love to put my battle gear back on, but maybe when we get to this next planet, we might be able to. We'll see. Oh, there we go. We're back in our nice, lovely gear. And one thing I have noticed, we are spending a lot of time on Koba. Alright, let's figure out where we need to go. Let these textures load in. Let the game do its thing. You know, it has to load. Look at that. Just, it is what it is. I really can't really do nothing about that. Unfortunately, I've just come to the conclusion of I have to accept it. Okay, so after like 10 minutes of wandering around, I believe this is where we're supposed to actually be going. A lot of them chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turgle? Maybe not Turgle. I think Turgle would be a perfect candidate for this, not gonna lie. Alright, sorry about the weird cut there, guys. Got a phone call and figured uh, it'd be best just to mute my mic and then we can uh, cut to when I'm actually ready. So, now that I'm ready, let's continue. Oof, okay, enemies. Where are they doing here? <laughs> wow, okay, even though I dodged backwards. Feel the 
Wow, okay. I can't stand a hard, a harder difficulties sometimes because it, no matter what you do, the game just makes it so you, your hits don't connect. Or that the NPCs know instantly how to block your moves. There we go. Oh wow, even more. Oh, my boy Cal still has that rage in him. Bet that. Okay. Gonna be using this a whole lot more. I need something, buddy. Yeah, see, I don't understand this sometimes. Like, what am I supposed to do here? It's like, I can't fight him one-on-one -on -one because every time, one just grabs me. Just gonna bust out this rage mode and just, mm. There you go, boom. That's literally all you can do. You have to just literally use your ability. No matter, even if you want to or not. And I have no more stems, great. Damn. Yo. All right, no more. Damn. Yeah, let's see. Damn near used all of our stems because of this. Okay. Okay, I can't stand. What is the point of that? What is the point? I don't. I literally don't get it. Nope. You will not suffer. Okay. They were waiting for us. Maybe Bo told him we were coming. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much needed luck. Well, we only have a sliver of health left, so that's amazing. I'd appreciate it if we could find a goddamn meditation point or something. That'd be cool, too. We came out of this door over here, so I imagine we have to go here. This looks promising. Not bad for an abandoned facility. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. We must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not gonna stop us. Is there a meditation point somewhere or a healing pod, something, before we run into more enemies? Because I guess the platform is somewhere else. This is about to be bad, very bad. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Kree. She thought of everything. platform here
Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. AZ coming in clutch. I appreciate you, homegirl. You know, I'm feeling nostalgic. I last spoke to Master Cree 200 years ago. And yet, when I see her experiment lighting up the sky, I feel close to her once more. I understand. You do, don't you? Oh, Cal Kestis. Not a day passes when I'm not grateful you pulled me out of that collapsed tunnel. Safe travels. And if Dag and Gary can chart that flight, then I know you can too. Aussie, oh, I appreciate it. Compare me to Dagon. I just have two arms and he was a Sith, you know. But that's okay. I guess you can compare us. Go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. How in the hell did Z get all the way over here this quick? That's crazy. Also, can we talk about performance issues in like $60 games in 2023? Because uh, that's it's a damn shame that people are spending $60 to $70 on fucking video games. And they're coming out not finished. I think that's I think this is a prime example. I think this is part of the reason why I've taken so long just to even, you know, start this game or you know finish the let's play because i've been waiting on updates to you know fix the performance because you know it's just been horrible but it is what it is this is my thought personally i think we should at least get a discount if the game is going to be shitty at launch uh, i think next i think next is tantalor baby I think uh, performance issues definitely shouldn't be a thing. They definitely should be optimized and fixed because as you can see, and well, as we're taking off, we're getting some performance issues. I think that's just bogus, but it is what it is. For other people, I guess it should be fine, but I don't even know. For me, it's just, sometimes it's playable. Sometimes it's just like, you know, why do I even bother? Spent like a whole $60 on this game and it only runs good or gets 60 frames per second and occasional locations like right now we're running perfectly smooth but just back on that island or that planet we were just at we were struggle bus frames per second every second there's a struggle bus going on i don't know it's just my opinion on that dudes uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section Cal, is it time we're heading to the abyss now fire up the arrays i'll be monitoring your progress from here may the force be with you all and you see. <sighs> well, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dagangara was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. He's like, don't talk to me like that. And what the hell is going on with Cal's like under cape there? See, performance issues. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, 
was beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'll bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Great. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> Coming too fast? But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you, crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. <sighs> You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Crazy does it, baby. <laughs> Getting a tad cozy. It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man it's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Arm, son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. Watch Bode be here or something crazy. Well, we already know he's gonna be here, but watch him just be like waiting for us. And I love how Marin and uh Cal first thing they did was just kiss as soon as they get here. Definitely just gonna meditate real quick because we definitely need that. Can Marin come with us? Are we just gonna explore without him? I guess so. Oh yeah, no, Marin's riding with me. Hey, baby girl, come on, let's get it. So this is Tanalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. What you trying to say, Marin? We ain't got no future here? I mean, I understand it, I guess. I mean, the order is the order. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Say something! You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. 
and ours. I think Bo might stand down for his daughter, but I don't know. My man's a Sith. You know, he clearly has, you know, ties with Darth Vader, you know, like the dopest motherfucker in the galaxy, but it is what it is. I don't know if I'd cut ties with him. He's definitely going to be hunting me down, trying to get me. I keep thinking about something Seer once said, a warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Good. See, this is where we should just, you know, you know, cut off his ship, you know, cut off these wings, cut off the landing gear so he can't escape, you know, but who knows? That's just big brain energy things. What the hell is this over here? Is this a meditation point? Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Oh wow, okay. Do you hear that? Kata. Oh man. Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? Very pretty. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> my family 
So be it then, Boat. Oh, you can get some of this hatred, Boat. I'm sorry. Oh, we've been waiting to give it all to you. We're taking out our first squad. just saved us like oh man Sorry, Boat. This just isn't working out, buddy. What the fuck? Alright. Enough of the good guy. Pop a stem. Bust out the specialty move. This would be a good time for you to attack. This is it. My boy Cal has embraced the goddamn darkness. And the way you just smack BD like that? Oh no, that's a no-go. That's a very much a, a no-go. Bullshit. I can't stand this fucking game when it is on the highest difficulty. It's like no matter what the game has to it has these moves where it's gonna hit you regardless of what the fuck you do. It's like you can do everything in your fucking power not to get hit by these moves, and they're gonna hit you. Like, I can't stand that. That's that's the most difficult annoying part about this fucking game. I can't stand it. Alright. I'm gonna dive back into it. I'm gonna fight fucking Bode all over again. Oh my god. And then he just instantly gets the first hit on me, too. Alright, Bode. Let's finish this. Once and for all. Let's get it, boys. Oh, 
Uh, I'm trying to get my health that was over here. Sorry, boat. This isn't how this is going to work. Time for me to embrace the darkness once more again. Hey, PD! This isn't gonna work how you want it to work, Boat. Sorry. Nah, Boat, this isn't luck. This is the Jedi Force. on your daughter. Mode, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kata. I tried. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too. I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Thank <laughs> you. 
saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready for what comes next. God damn, just like with Spider-Man Marvel's Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, just a good game, definitely tear-jerking, not gonna hold you, uh, man, I did not expect Seer to die, that's one thing that kind of really f threw me off, unfortunately, I mean, Bowden had made his choice, he, you know, if the Empire ever came, he could have been there to protect his little girl along with the cow, and I mean, hey, that would have been way better of a fight, you know, 2v versus whoever, you know, Vader show up, you couldn't, you, we took on Dagon together, I don't see why we couldn't take on Vader, I mean, shit, you know, Vader's all mighty powerful, but still, man, oh man, I enjoyed the crap out of this game, I hope you guys did enjoy it as well, we're gonna, definitely gonna go back, we're gonna play the first game, I don't care how many views it gets, so you get two views per video, I don't care, we are definitely going to go back and finish the first game, and then we're gonna move on to maybe The Last of Us Part 1 or something else. Whatever you guys want to see down in the comment section. I know we got to finish God of War as well. Only released part, excuse me, only released like part one of that. But I mean, hey, there are a whole bunch of other more parts to come. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, smack that like button, share the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.